there, bees. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another one. Get this position just right. But we are shooting some three and a half inch 12 gauge steel shot with fiber shot cups from Clay and Game. So we're going to start off with the control, though, which is that shell right there. Josh would be ever so courteous to read that off. I can't remember what it is. It is a Remington Premier Hall with, it looks like, well, I know what it is. It's right, right on it. A 209A. That's pretty special. You usually don't label the primers. So that must mean something on this one. But it's a 209A, 37 grains of Alliance Steel, the TPS White Lightning Rod. Wad. Wad. <laughs> I don't know. Lightning Rod. Anyways, I'll leave that in there. An ounce and three-eighths of BB Steel. A nice looking fold crimp on it. We're using the Benelli Nova. It's got a mod choke in it. With no, a it modified doesn't. I forgot choke, to change it out. which is full choke for steel. Yep, we gotta change them out. I forgot to change chokes out, so it's equivalent for steel anyways to a fool. Ah! Anyways, we got the choke switched out. Range is clear. Uh I believe this rig here hits where we aim. I ain't a hundred percent. And we haven't shot the Nova too much. No, nope. this is the first three and a half twelve I've shot in probably two months. I think so. You ready? Yeah. Me too. Fifteen twenty-three. The listed velocity was fourteen fifty. Ew. That well, is straight published load data. What's it look like? Our primer's got a nipple. <laughs> Okay. You, you think I'm joking? I ain't shooting another one. That is not the first time that has happened with Alliance Steel it's using straight got, published this, data. This thing here never, I know this much, it never leaves marks on the case head, like from the bolt face or anything. It's got both of the cam locks imprinted into the case head, and the primer is a nipple. That is not good, friends. That was listed at 13,000. That, that's definitely like 15, 16,000, somewhere up in there. That is not. I don't know. The rim looks kind of bubbled out too. Show them. A, you think I'm exaggerating when I say what? I it showed looks, the primer. It, it looks like a nipple, and you can see the bolt face on it, and that is very unusual for this. So, 209A primers are bad to do that, but that's a little bit worse than normal. That's excessive. And again, that was straight published load data. And again, that also, that is not the first time that has happened using Alliance Steel with published load data. Don't know, guys. Don't I, like I don't. It. I don't like a light steel. I'm gonna be honest. I do not like that powder. There's so many other options. The slight benefits that that has for the slight handful of loads is not worth using the powder, in my opinion. Blue dot is almost as good. You don't get quite as good velocity with the light steel, but <laughs> stuff like this don't happen. I feel like, for personal opinion, everybody's got their own opinions. I'm sure there's guys out there that's all they use and it does well for. And I'm happy for you. I really am. I'm glad that works. You can have all of it. <laughs> yep. for me personally i've never seen a it's, it's always stuff like that with it either it's a dead load it's too hot it's too cold extreme pressure spikes like that at least i mean it's just i'm not trying to dog on it or nothing that's just my experience everybody's experience is different you can't go on one person saying or another you know you got to experience it for yourself right i do want to mention this too this shell maybe you can see it maybe you can it does say max 1050 bar or right here it's wore off but I think that means it's loaded to max pressure. The pressure that the fiber wads are loaded to was 838 bar, I think it was, or 837, so it's not max pressure. This was 13,100 PSI, and it shows. Anyway, let's look at the pattern. Let's go look at the pattern. Sorry for the weird speech thing there, but uh, I th might have patterned good. I don't know. Uh -huh. Or pellets in the blue, anyways. How many pellets are outside the blue? I don't know how many's outside of the blue band, but I know there's one, two, three, four inside of it, and that very well. I mean, honestly, it looks like the outside ring of the pattern. It's a good pattern, but I don't know if I want to. It's a pretty decent waterfowl pattern. It's a little splotchy in some places, but yeah. it's BB. It's pretty big size pellets. You're not going to have insane density with only a one and three eighth ounce shell. I'd say coming to 30 yards with that would have made a world of difference. Yeah, so would that hammer a goose or a duck at 40? Absolutely, it's going down. It's got good coverage all the way around it. It's just that shell was quite spicy. 
I don't think that that pattern is worth that kind of pressure. I don't. I, I put it this way: I'm not pulling the trigger on another one of that configuration. I wouldn't either. I don't blame you. Maybe we're just uh, a little sensitive. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to some fiber woods. <laughs> I don't know if we're sensitive or well traveled, so to speak. I, that I don't know. Either way, you want to look at it. You we're not listen, shooting another. You can listen to the and me personally, anyways. Y'all could probably hear it on camera too. The report on that was a sharper crack, and it always seems like when we start climbing up into pressure, you can tell it's like from a thunderous boom to almost like a rifle's crack. And that one, I don't know, it sounded funny. It was, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it comes from shooting a bunch of these things. Right. It just sounded different. The report was different, and then it had a nipple. Your primer should not have nipples. No. Uh, I'm ready to go when you are. You're good, bud. Okay, guys, so now I am using my H&R partner here wait no this is an nef partner model sp1 12 gauge three and a half inch chamber and i do have a regular full choke in it the diameter is 700 and this choke is ready for steel shot the shell is a brand new shadat hull 40 grains of alliance steel a three millimeter nitro card and then a 49 millimeter fiber shot cut from clay and game a 20 gauge or sorry 28 gauge nitro card in the bottom of it and one and three eighth ounces of number three steel. This is once again published load data, and it was like a 838 bar. I don't know what that translates to in PSI, but uh, raise the sled up a little bit. Come on, a little bit more. All right, you ready? Yeah. All righty. 1339 FPS. Those were threes. All looks just fine. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Here is our pattern with the number three steel. Uh, it looks to be the overall the same size as the BB was, but once again, full choke. The density is a little bit better than the BB for obvious reasons. Smaller pellet, more of them. But yeah, that would make a really good duck shell. 1339 FPS, round up to 1350 with uh, number three steel. That's a good duck shell. Uh, maybe a little bit small for geese, but for duck, absolutely. Not bad at all. No. Let's see, I've got a duplex with BB and number three shot, and then we have uh, one with uh, triple B, all ounce and three eighths. All right, guys, Josh is down there changing paper out. I should be helping him, but that's the kind of friend I am, I guess. Next one is Triple B. Focus, there you go. Triple B, 19 caliber. The difference in this one is still 1 and 3 8 ounces, but these pellets are so big that they won't fit in a 49 millimeter fiber wad. Stupid wasps. Landed right on my hand. Anyway, so this wad right here is still, it's 55 millimeter length. Obviously, it's roll crimped. You can't fold crimp something that tall. But uh, everything else is still the same. 40 of the light steel. And then we have a 3 millimeter nitro card. The 55 millimeter fiber wad. Hello, fly. Fiber shot cup. And then a 28 gauge nitro card. 1 and 3 8 ounces of triple Bs. And a roll crimp. Alrighty, guys. We're back to the Benelli with this one for the mod choke. Because this one is triple B. So, I guess, let's see how this pattern's going to be. I oh. expect pretty sparse because really big pellets. I'm hoping it's a good one. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 1279. That speed's okay with pellets this big, but for threes, that's too, that's too slow for my liking. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Beautiful. But you can see what I noted earlier in the video about, well, other than the crimp, I'll talk about the brass, the part that matters. Right. But see how there's no, like, marks from the bolt face or nothing on it? Yeah. That's what I say. That was extremely odd. <laughs> I don't think them Remington holes are very good anyway. They're hard to resize. I don't know. I thought, I like the Shadots better than the Remington Premiers. Come on, right. you camera focus. Anyway, let's go check that pattern now. I don't expect impressive out of this, but you never know. It's empty. So, 
it may be a little sparse. The choke we're using is not a high-end choke by any means. It's just a regular mod. Josh is trying to find the wad. We've seen it land. We're really anxious to see how it held up to those big pellets. We did recover the first one that Josh fired. It held up pretty good. It actually didn't disintegrate. We also have the white lightning wad. It held up okay too. But as you guys can see, the pattern is kind of sparse, kind of splotchy. Well, let's be honest, it's really splotchy. But the overall size is not bad at all. Looks to be the tightest one yet in terms of size. But again, big pellets, you're going to have fewer of them. I think there's around 75 pellets in that, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, correct me. But there it is. Triple Bs. Alrighty, sir. All right, I'll have to drop this down a little bit. All right. Okay, guys, so this one is, once again, brand new Shadot. 40 grains of Alliance Steel, 3 millimeter Maxi Nitro card, a 49 millimeter fiber shot cup. I've been saying 28 gauge Nitro card. I'm wrong. It's a 24 gauge Nitro card. One and three eighth ounces of straight BBs. So 18 caliber. But, uh, you ready to go, Josh? Yeah. I see the wad. It fell in front of the stump and about 30 feet in front of the uh, table. 1336 FPS. That is not bad for uh, BBs. But, uh, let's go recover that and check the pattern out. Oh, yeah, the haul, too. Looks perfect. Probably the best looking one yet. Focus. There you go. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that at all. Besides it not being a 10 gauge, of course. Alrighty guys, that one is the best one of the day. We have one left. It's a BB3 duplex. But I feel like this one's good enough to actually measure. We'll go to the uh, outside ring anyway. It won't count the flyers, but a 27, let's call it 27 by... Oh, come on. Is it lined up over there? Uh, for the most part. Alright, we'll call it a 27 by 23. That is not bad at all. Look at this density right here. Right here is the core of the pattern. That's a very good density for steel shot. Even right here, that's not bad. I did obviously shoot a little bit left. That's okay. That is on me. But that right there, another great do uh, <laughs> geese or duck shell. I'm very happy with that one. BB is actually my, my favorite steel shot size. But anyway, let's move on to the... BB and steel or BB and three duplex. Josh likes duplexes, so it's his. Alrighty, guys. Everything in this shell is the same as the last one, except for the payload of this one consists of one ounce of number three steel and three eighths ounce of BB instead of just a straight ounce and three eighths of BB. I like duplex. It's he seems to know what he's doing when he's loading shells, so I got high hopes for this one. <laughs> Seems to know what I'm doing. I couldn't have said that better myself. Oh, you ready? Yeah. 12.59, that's a little bit slow. It looks like the velocity on these is a hit or miss, whether it's in 1300s or not. And that haul there took the place for the best looking one yet. Did it? Oh, yeah. Flawless. Um, if I were you guys and putting these together, uh, good luck getting these wads here in the States unless you know somebody across the pond. I would go up to maybe 42 grains of Alliance Steel. Yellow jackets keep killing my pop. They like that royal crown. I guess so, stupid things. Can we see the pattern good enough? Yeah, we can see it. So... Duplex, BB, and number threes. It might be the way to go for ducks, guys. A little bit longer range with the BBs. Better pattern density with the threes. I feel like it's a very, very good combo. I know two and BB is a really popular mix. But uh, there it is, threes and BBs. I'm very pleased with that. The core right in the center, pretty dang dense. It's uh, 
got a couple spots to spot you and it's about right here well the camera's perspective off but right there and in this area maybe a little bit spotchy that's okay though there's a duck anywhere in that it's going down i don't must throw that at a turkey hey i mean yeah you could get a turkey with that almost if it's all you had i don't think you can use steel for turkey those though i'll see why not i don't know the legal laws on that one i don't either somebody educate me in the comments please please do <laughs> anyway that's a very good pattern that it might actually be my favorite one of the bunch what about you yeah i like duplexes duplexes always pattern well they seem to don't they let me rephrase that i like home rolled duplexes they always pattern well usually the crap you buy from the store ain't worth a dog turd <laughs> yeah that's my opinion smite me on it if you want so anyway guys you see it just the same as we do we got some pretty decent results the only one that was kind of bad was the triple b we'll show you the wads down here uh overall i'm happy with all these fiber wads are pretty cool so having a look at the wads here the white lightning held up pretty decently i think there was a couple spots okay there's more than a couple this is not great there's quite a few spots where the pellets punctured through anyway i know this is the triple b because you can see the giant indentations nothing came through that at all that's all we could recover from it and the rest of these held up pretty dang well obviously these things disintegrate when you fire them but as you can see nothing came through that at all what's that watermelon yeah you'd think it'd be immature Ooh, it's got black seeds it's ripe the tiny. drought made my watermelon <laughs> that is micro. the smallest watermelon i have but ever I bet it's seen delicious i bet it is i will find that i'll put it that way so <laughs> nothing came through that this is hard to tell because it's destroyed um that one looks okay nope there's right there possibly one came through this is the only relatively intact one we could find and nothing on this one came through that i can see overall these fiber shot cups hold up very very well it's just whenever they exit the muzzle they kind of disintegrate but anyway guys we're going to test this watermelon out now <laughs> i bet it's pretty good it looks pretty good it smells pretty good but uh check out all the stuff in the description patreon rumble instagram merch store that stuff really helps us out we're going to shoot some 20 gauge buckshot now for you guys but uh that'll be a different video other than that cue outro yummy